So, starting off today's video with watching an old video of mine of pulling out the OE fuel pump to put in the 450. Should be a lot less involved doing the 535. Literally, pull the pump, put the filter, replace it. I don't have to drill anything or any of that crazy stuff. Hopefully it's simple. Might have to run and get different connectors. I don't know if these are E85 safe or if I can find any E85 safe ones around here. But that's something I definitely want to uh, to do. But other than that, it should be pretty freaking simple. You guys saw in the last video, got the car started and everything. Haven't ran it since. I have a small oil leak in the lower um, timing cover that I need to fix. And then this fuel pump. And once this is done, I can throw the wheels on, exhaust on, bumper on. Pretty much button it up and drive it. If I'm reading the email right from Ed, I can drive around. He said, he definitely did say, I could drive around on either pump, um, the 450 or the 535, 535 with the current tune, which the tune is for the 450. I don't have the new tune yet, but he said I could drive around to break in the car. So, um, yeah, trying to drive my car to work on Friday. Today is Tuesday. Got the glass in last night, so for the hatch, that is. But uh, yeah, let's go out here, grab the pump, grab the vacuum, because we're gonna clean out that fuel pump area before we pull off the cap and get to it. Hopefully I can give you guys um, a decent DIY here. All right. Here we are again, dreading, been dreading doing this. I hate dealing with fuel, so I'm gonna pop this fuel line off. There's like a little press press guy right there. Pop that off, it's probably gonna spray everywhere. Um, then use a hammer and screwdriver, knock the string out of place. I can lift this up, take off the uh, fuel level float guy off to the side, and I should be able to just pull this whole thing out, I think. Shit. All right, so really this is like a two-person job to get this out of here. Um, I mean, not really, really, but it would help a lot. Um, so you got two fuel connections onto the pump. They're both quick disconnects. They kind of, once you disconnect them, you have to like lay the pump over, which you'll probably dump fuel over this area like I did. And they, they get sucked back that way. Two disconnects, and then you got a actual electrical connector. I don't want to get my wrist down in there. There we go. You got this electrical connector on the side as I sling fuel everywhere. That as well. So you got three connections on the basket pump assembly, whatever you want to call it. Um, ugh, trying not to touch anything here. So now we got it out. The one connection goes right there, the one I showed you, the electrical connector. Now your two disconnects, they are two different sizes. So you can't really mess that up. Now I'm going to pull up my video. See what I do to take this thing apart so I don't mess it up. It should be a pretty simple swap. Um, kind of, yeah, I want to know how that, that fuel filter looks, so that'll be interesting. So first things first, you got this guy here on the spring. Like I said, this is kind of hard to do, to show. You got to have like someone hold this, it'll focus. You will hold it there and then you got this little clip you got to pop off. I just used two scribes to, to get it. I don't know, nothing once, there you go. That little guy. There's like a nipple. Well, I can just kind of pull this out now. It doesn't want to. Ugh. So this guy was just chilling here. There's nothing that connects this to that down there. So whatever. Pulled it out of the way. This is the for the fuel float. It just it's got a clip right here and a clip right there. It goes into those two holes. Slid it right out. Now. My pump is already, my basket's already modified. So I don't have to do any of the drilling, any of that stuff. So I got one, two, three screws. Should be able to pull that out, pull this assembly out. And then uh, just cut, disconnect, cut these and uh, swap them over to the new one. Hopefully it's not easy. Okay, I got the three screws out, dropped one in there. I think, I think. Maybe not. Okay, as it turns out, you got three that go in through the bottom and three that go in through the top. So, there's three more on the bottom, three more screws I'd take off. Whole thing slid out. Now I can push the pump right out of its spot. 
there's a little adapter that goes on the on the feed here and then obviously the adapter um, you know for the thing itself but I gotta, I gotta cut these babies off real quick making some leeway here so this is the new pump I'm just kind of test fitting things here well I don't want to take it back off but this little adapter comes off the old one slips into the new one it's kind of hard to get on there because it's like it like takes material off as you put it on so you can see all the marks I made I cleaned it up real good though then you got a new o-ring then that pops down in there and then you got um, my power and ground are backwards so don't pay attention to that but the power wire I'm assuming for the uh, fuel float and this one go together to this black I marked this with blue so I knew that the two went to that and then this this one will go to that one so I've got to clip it off yet and then we'll put all the screws back in and throw it back in this is a lot easier than what I thought um, hopefully I'm doing it right seems pretty straightforward though all right wired them up got some uh, heat shrink on them now I just need to there's some wires I gotta stick back uh, into this little clip right there for this yeah they gotta go in there and then I should be able to good be good to drop it back in there tighten everything down throw it back in the car test it hopefully it works hell yeah